I'm just really scared that something bad is going to happen. <laughs> something bad was about to happen indeed, as the new movie Smile absolutely delivers arguably the best horror movie of 2022 so far. From spine-chilling moments to tension-built settings with an unbelievable score to match, to a cast that ultimately doesn't have any real outstanding performances, but as a whole, everyone works together to bring forth a very intriguing story mixed with a variety of horror cliches, both old and new school. We here at Influence Delay had the opportunity to see Smile in an early advance screening ahead of its official release Friday, September 30th. We're here to give you an honest review, spoiler free of course, as to whether or not you should see this movie. But first, if you could subscribe to our channel, we are giving away two one-year Disney Plus memberships once we hit 1,000 subscribers. If you're new to the channel, we cover everything Hollywood and Marvel, from movie reviews and previews to predictions and theories to the latest breaking news that affect all things movie-related covered right here at our channel. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Now, getting into the Smile review. This movie kind of came out of nowhere over the past few months with unique trailers that really emphasized the horror tension built moments that would be on display throughout the film. The marketing didn't just stop at the trailers however, as this movie really has taken its advertising to the next level with multiple sightings of actors appearing at professionally broadcast Major League Baseball games very recently and they were wearing smile t-shirts sporting creepy smiles that got everyone talking on social media. It's definitely a very fun and interesting way to promote a movie and it seems to have paid off based on how much attention it got. Hats off to Paramount's marketing team and whoever came up with this idea. Speaking of idea, the idea of this movie we don't think necessarily would make sense if written down and read on paper. But when you take the idea of this movie and illustrate it in a cinematic experience, it becomes one of the better horror movies of 2022. For us, the easiest comparison, at least at the moment, is thinking of a Final Destination movie clashing with an Insidious movie. And that's how Smile comes across, an exhilarating ride where death is inevitable in the way of a force much like the Final Destination movies while also balancing a deeper mystery that has many demonic influences similar to what we see in Insidious. And the blending of those two ideas is really the main focal point of this movie. The movie follows a doctor named Rose Cotter, played by Sosie Bacon, who works in the psychological field. We are shown just a sample of what a day in her life is like to sort of open the movie, but then not too far in we are treated to our first real scare of the movie as we see her meet a new patient as shown in the trailers, a very scared and terrified individual who starts to freak out in front of Dr. Cotter. So Cotter goes to call for help, but then the entire tone shifts to dead quiet and the tension raises as Cotter turns around to see her patient with the most terrifying smile on her face as the patient proceeds to cut her own face with a piece of a broken flower vase. This entire sequence officially kicks off this two hour thrill ride as we follow how Dr. Cotter tries to navigate after witnessing such a severe, gruesome trauma. From mysteries surrounding the exact details as to what is going on and what potentially triggered her patient's suicide to a potential connection to even more suicides, audiences may find themselves on the edge of their seats more than a few times throughout this movie as again the score blends very well with what is being acted out on screen, adding for very bone chilling, goosebump filled moments. The conflicts that arise between Dr. Cotter's friends and family as she continues to spiral dealing with the trauma was a great way to add more depth and relatability to the movie as it can be argued how her friends and family view her towards the end of the movie is how many people dealing with trauma are sometimes viewed by their loved ones. The reveal of what is actually going on is refreshing and at least feels new and different from other horror movies which was a really nice surprise. Other horror movies that have released this year such as Black Phone and Nope were great in their own right but we respectfully think that Smile is better than both of them and stands out as the true hidden gem of horror movies this year. All in all, we highly recommend you see Smile in theaters as soon as possible and let us know what you think about it down below in the comments. Be sure to leave a like on this review, subscribe to our channel for the giveaway, and ring that bell notification so you can stay updated and not outdated.